The Contender 44CB has an overall length of 43 feet 10 inches, a beam of 12 feet, and a max horsepower rating of 2,000. Designed to keep the family comfortable, even when the going gets rough, she has a draft of 27 inches, a dead rise of 22.7 degrees, a weight of 19,600 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 600 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. As center console boats have gotten bigger and bigger, along with the size, it's given us the ability to do more and more things. And that includes going further from shore, staying out longer, and traveling to distant places that were otherwise unattainable. Now, if you're heading 150 or more miles offshore, you're probably serious about your fishing and you're gonna need a serious fishing boat. But to spend two days on a boat, you're also gonna need some amenities to make the trip more comfortable. Contender has just introduced their 44CB, which is a canyon berth. Now, the 44CB combines the attributes of the 44ST from a performance aspect, as well as the 44 Fish Around, which has got a larger cabin, but that cabin is gonna interfere with some of the workspace. This is a hybrid between the two boats that's gonna accomplish both ends. Yeah, George, if I'm gonna spend two days on the boat, I'm not gonna be on my feet the entire time. So it's nice that they incorporated, you know, all the seating that is on this boat, and having a place to sleep, that cabin is perfect, and I'm gonna tell you what, that AC is on point. Now, when you consider the fact that the 44CB was designed for multi-day offshore trips to the blue water, you're gonna come up against a couple of problems that you might not face on a day-to-day, -day, just a one-day trip. And one of these problems is the ability to store a lot of fish and especially large pelagics. Contender has addressed that problem with this huge insulated fish hold. This hold is 340 gallons of space. Now, there's also a pair of 120 quart boxes in the cockpit. Those are gonna be the boxes that you use while you're fishing. When you gaff a fish and bring him into the boat, he's probably gonna land into the 120 box right off the bat. Having the ability to plug all those fish and store them in here, especially if you added an optional chiller plate, is gonna ensure that when you return to port after a couple of days of fishing offshore, the fish is gonna be the best possible quality you can find. Now, when it comes to filling the box here, there's a couple different ways you can go about it on the contender. One is fishing outrigger style behind the boat, and that can be done on a grand scale with electric teaser reels and double dredges and all kinds of baits and a long spread. Another way to fish on a boat such as the 44CB is drifting to the wind and having kites on one side of the boat and fishing flat lines and deep lines on the other side of the boat. And not unlike you would do on a 25 or a 31 or a 33, you're doing it the same way on this 44, you just got a lot more room to spread out and you can cover a lot more water doing so. One thing that's very clever about the 44 CB is they've added two really large rod lockers in the decks up here in the bow. Now being a boat company that has its roots in South Florida where live bait fishing is king, Contender certainly has got you covered in this department. Across the transom on this model, there are three 50 gallon live wells. They're supplied by three separate pumps and a sea chest. Now the sea chest is gonna make sure that you're never out of water because you're going 60 miles an hour or 70 miles an hour, which this boat happily does. The 44 CB we're sitting on has quad 425s on it, but this boat is rated for up to 2,000 horsepower. With the quad 425s, we're seeing speeds well into the 70 mile an hour range, and this boat will get you there in a hurry with that. Now the 44 CB has a 600 gallon fuel capacity, and that's well over 500 miles of range on this model. Now once you start embarking on these extended range trips, there's a couple of things that are gonna really make your trip a lot more enjoyable and a lot more comfortable. And it starts here at the helm. Think about it, when you're gonna run 150 or 200 miles offshore, you're gonna have to do a little bit of jogging at night. So that involves putting the screen into multiple views where you're looking at a night vision screen, a radar screen, your chart plotter, you dim the backlights and you want to be able to look at everything without straining to see it in a small box. So these screens make a lot of sense. It's also very open here so you can see in front of you when you're underway as well. The stadium seating on this boat, Lori, is set up perfectly for a long run because not only does it provide a good place for the helmsman, it provides seating for six people and it keeps everybody centralized right here in one spot. And when it comes to just lounging, these seats actually rotate and you can talk to your guests in the second row, cool feature. The comfortable seating on the Contender 44 CB does not end here under this hard top. There's a lot more on this boat. The way that Contender integrated these bow seats up here 
is really fantastic. You still have your seating for the family that wants to relax underway. But what I like about it, the way that it cuts back into the gunnel like this, you still have a wide seat, which I like, but it's not taking anything away from up here in the bow and the area that you have to fish on. Under the seats, you can stow what maybe you need to get to a little bit quicker. It's super easy. You just pull up and there's your bags. This boat being a canyon berth is providing us with this huge lounge seat up here. Now this is actually my favorite spot on the boat. A, it's great for relaxing, but if you are up here and the fishing's going on, or you're able to still be a part of all the action. I mean, you can even put your rod here, relax and wait for it to go off. I said before, I'm sitting on top of the berth. Why don't we go check out the inside? What are you doing, George? Hogging all the AC in here? I am. You like that, right? It was 67 degrees when I walked down here. <laughs> you know, while you mentioned the AC, let me point something out to you. What Contender has done on this model is they've added something unique. It's a 12-volt air conditioning unit. Now, getting rid of all that hardware saves a lot of weight on the boat. And just the fact that you can keep it that cold off of just a 12-volt battery is really remarkable. Yeah, when there's, you know, plenty of room for a married couple to stay down here. You've got a head, plenty of space if you're going to just do a night or two. What they had in mind was trying to bring you the fishability of the 44 ST and the comfort and the ability to come down below and get out of it and sleep like you can on the 44 fish around. Now, trying to tie those two together and meet in the middle, they've completely nailed it with the 44 CB by Contender, 100%.